Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak, this is Let's Play Oxygen Not Included. Uh... Okay, slight problem with having this wheezewort uh, cooling down the kitchen. It also produces radiation, so people are getting slightly unhappy traveling in and out of the kitchen to get their lunch. But either way, this is Oxygen Not Included. I'm Ekamak, I think I said that, but no I have for certain. And, well... We've kind of gotten to an unfortunate point where the episodes aren't that eventful. But I need to keep an eye on things, so I don't want to fast forward, but I kind of need to fast forward because nothing is getting done. Uh. I need to prepare to ship the oil. That means I need to finish building in this area here. Abyssalite, right. Sweep only. Abyssalite, see if that can uh, tidy this area up. What else is there? Ceramic. How close are you here? Even though this is the only job they have, for some reason it's just taking forever. He should probably get the cobalt suits shipped back soon. We need way more copper. And set this to deliver another one. It's going to take quite a hit out of our oxygen stores, which are kind of getting a little critical in Fertilona, but we need to speed up our construction of this bomb. This is why most people have massive cuts and massive episodes for this game. Yeah, I might as well flip the, flip the signal switch. I don't get why, why we have zero steel in this area. Did I use it on something without thinking? Actually, let's cancel this steam turbine. We have plenty of iron in the location. Maybe not that much iron. Right, because we've been using it for the cabling for the spawn.
Oh boy, we're just being worked out here and there everywhere. I'm actually wondering if I should sw switch this on because even though we've got to, uh, we don't need more of them. It might be nice to speed up iron conversion. Yeah, I think I see the problem. The problem is that so much of the igneous rock that's been dedicated to these pipes is actually down here, so they've been kind of gated by these Atmosuit docks. Is there anywhere else I can find some igneous rock that's easily extracted? No, it's all hidden in these boulders. We have plenty of new skills though. I'm not sure whether it is the correct choice to keep putting them into astronomy because uh, that, that that doesn't give science bonuses. Are you any good with your strength? Not particularly, no. Show me the minerals. I feel like they should have picked a different colour for igneous rock because that is kind of um, very difficult to discern from the empty grey. Goldfish still at work there. We'll get to mechatronics engineering someday. And this looks mostly empty now. Because that means it's time to empty out this massive area. Oh 
Wait, we don't have enough copper? Ooh, right, we don't have enough copper because of the exosuit forge. I think we should reduce the priority for producing lime. We have enough of it now. We already have all the steel we need. Level 9 priority like this. That'd be half the iron we need. Where can we get the other half? Right, grooming. We might just want to uh, get nails some critter ranching skills. Because we might be running out of people to do these these ranching jobs. Hang on. I'm got starry eyed. The problem is the interests. Like these are... I wouldn't say any of them are bad. We already have someone with Starry Eyed, right? It was Jean. Just because genes are a little slow doesn't mean they can't suffer from soul-crushing existential crises. Whereas you have three interests, so that's an extra three morale that we can get alongside the plus ten. And then you've got an extra decor morale bonus there. We need to look at the achievement, actually. The one we wanted was all the way here? Moral high ground. Need 25 or higher. I'm going to go for the uh, care package. We don't have room for more Paku and we don't need more food. Yeah, so actually we want to produce that one Stinklin. Although Devin's little bio here of This Devin dreams of owning their own personal computer so they can start a blog full of pictures of toast. is pretty cute. Ah, we've completed the area, so sadly this is as far as we can scan with the telescope. If we want to scan anywhere else, we either need to reach the, sur to reach the surface here, or to build a scouting rocket to check out other places. Was this the cold... Yeah, that's the carbon dioxide geyser. Right, this really is a problem. 
We need igneous rock to finish all the piping here, but we don't have anywhere that we can dig up for igneous rock. I guess it's okay to have you working on the main base while we have uh, Liam going in and out for the insulated piping. Why are you hanging about where the oil builds up? And actually, speaking of that... Let out this carbon dioxide so we can start feeding the Slicksters again. Zombie spores are here, but they aren't in anything we care about. In fact, weirdly, it looks like they've kind of been disinfected by being transferred, which is not how I remember it usually working. Eventually these power cables are going to suffer from just about everything running on the same circuitry. Not the best situation, but I feel like that's not quite where we're at yet, so we should be fine. I just want to open this up a bit so they don't feel quite as crowded. Oh, that finished. Should I start shipping over the igneous rock, actually? Because I feel like it's in a lot better access around here than it is there. But we're probably going to need a lot of it for our own insulated pipes. Which are now actually kind of finished, so... Get all that smelted out.
Yeah, yeah. Just dig it all out. Then since we have the option to, Botanical Analyzer, where can we build one of these? Oh, we, at this rate, we might end up having to build the... We might have to end up being able to build the steam turbine out of the cobalt anyway, because we just have so much lying about. Uh, question, did you have some sort of athletics bonus? Yeah, you had twinkle toes, so that's why you get to sleep away from everyone else. He also had a bedroom. You really, you guys really don't want to hang out there. Trust me. There shouldn't be any other artifacts around here. We do have iron. I feel the need to point this out anyhow, since we've got nothing better to talk about. Uh, it has a 1000 degrees overheat temperature, so you could actually get away with making it out of lead if you want. It shuts down at a high temperature, so you aren't going to see it actually get overheated enough to start being damaged unless it's... unless something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. But I'm not saying that these things can't happen. Piping, piping, piping. This is completely clean, so we're mostly ready for it on this side. And we have our little long hair slickster over here. He can live around here, it's just... He's not going to be doing anything productive. Oh, there was a plug slug here, but he got old and died.
Okay, we're going to ship over all the igneous rock that we need. I can't keep doing this. I want to get started on shipping over the oil because it's going to actually take quite a bit of time. Oil roughly balances out at 870 kilograms, which isn't a nice number when you're trying to compress it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tiles. So we're going to have about 4,350 kilograms of oil in this area. Maybe uh, to kill time, I can discuss exactly how we're going, how this uh, thermo aqua tuner works. So the way aqua tuners work, when you pipe the liquid through it, if it is on, then it will cool that liquid by 14 degrees Celsius. It doesn't matter that what the temperature of the liquid is. It doesn't matter what the liquid is. It will always do that 14 degrees Celsius. And while doing that, it drains a whopping 12,000 watts. That's as much power as this metal refinery. But the point is, because it always has the same constant, I will cool it by 14 degrees and I will take 12,000 watts to do so. It's actually better to have liquids that have high heat capacities run through it. Which is different to the number of how long does it take for it to boil or to freeze. So, can we find somewhere that tells us... Well, I think the specific heat capacity is the number that I want to look at anyway. Yeah, heat capacity is basically how much energy it takes to raise it by one degree. So the higher the heat, the more it has stored up. By having th liquids with high heat capacities being used as coolant that is running through these pipes, it means that the thermo aqua tuner is uh, getting more heat for the same amount of electricity. And so, because it's being run into a steam turbine over here, it means that the steam turbine cooling becomes more efficient. It takes less outside electricity to function perfectly. So rather than having... You basically have a bunch of conditions that you want when dealing with all this stuff. You want to think, how high a temperature is it going to need to be run at? So something with a higher evaporation or lower freezing chain threshold. But then you also need to think, okay, now I need to have the highest heat capacity liquid in there. So it takes the most, so it gets the most bang for buck out of being run through the aqua tuner. I believe that polluted water is a pretty good thing until you get to your hands on the super coolant, because uh, that's a very rare end game crafted material, but super coolant almost makes it to perfect I I'm not 1000% sure on that sorry Are we still shipping out all the igneous rock? Yes, we are. Do we have enough igneous rock to finish this project? I think we do. Yeah, none of them are... Not too many of them are saying they need supplies.
One, two, three, four, five, six. So six by four hundred. That is two thousand four hundred. So a few more runs of uh, the shipping system should do it. I don't like how much this is banked up. It makes it hard to work for long time to, to work long time around here. Just checking to make sure we didn't accidentally brick someone in there. I think that's actually enough igneous rock. And either way, time's up, so... Until next time guys, take care, we'll see you all around. I'm sorry that nothing interesting is happening of late, but it's a big project. We've been working on it for ages and we're going to keep working on it for a, for a bit longer. Until next time guys, take care, we'll see you all around.